Welcome to our lesson about band allowance and band deduction. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to set these values for band deduction and band allowance. Here we've got the same part that I used in my previous lesson. Each side is 5 millimeters in length, the thickness is 1 millimeter, and the band radius is 1 millimeter as well. Let's right click and edit the sheet metal feature. Right click, Edit Feature. In the Bend Allowance region, I'm going to select the Bend Allowance method. Let's enter a value for our Bend Allowance of 2.4 millimeters. Accept. Now let's flatten our part. Oops, let's cancel out of this. OK, try that again. And let's take a measurement. The length of the Bend Allowance is 2.44 millimeters. Let's clear these selections and measure the total length of the flattened part. 10.4 millimeters. To review the formula we learned in our previous lesson, the flattened length, or the length of the flattened part, equals L1, the first length, plus L2, the second length, minus 2 times the bend radius, plus the bend allowance. As a result, we have 10.4 millimeters. Let's change the band radius of our feature. Let me just exit the measure tool. Right click on base flange 1, edit feature. Let's change the band radius to 2, accept. And let's measure the total length of our part now. Surely enough, we've got a length of 8.4 millimeters. Close the tool. Let's edit our part again, right click, edit feature. I'm going to check reverse direction, click OK. Let's check the length of our flattened part again. Now we've got a measurement of 6.4 millimeters. This time, we add T, or the thickness parameter, to our formula, and as a result, we've got a flattened length of 6.4 millimeters. Now let's measure the bend allowance of our part. Right click, clear selections, and it's surely enough, it's 2.4 millimeters. Basically, the bend allowance region stays the same, but the length of the part changes depending upon the bend radius as well as the position of the flange inside or outside the sketch. Now let's try something different. I'm going to apply the bend deduction method instead of the bend allowance method. We'll edit our sheet metal part. Choose Bend Deduction, and we'll enter a value of 0.8, click OK. Let's measure the total length of our part now. It's 9.2 millimeters. Let's verify our measurement against our formula. For the length of the flattened part, we take the sum of L1 plus L2 minus the bend deduction. As a result, our calculation is 9.2 millimeters. Now let's measure the length of the bend region. 5.2 millimeters. Let's edit the base flange again. This time I'll make the bend radius 1 millimeter. Click OK. The measure tool. The length of the bend region, 3.2 millimeters. However, the total length of the flattened part stays the same, at 9.2 millimeters. You may find that all of this math seems a little intimidating for now, but once you've applied it a few times, it's really not so bad. At the end of the day, how you apply bend allowance and bend deduction depends upon your own idiosyncrasies as an engineer and those of the company you work for. Each method has its own advantages and disadvantages. And this concludes our lesson about bend allowance and bend deduction.